Hey yo, what's up everybody? Ohms here and welcome to my first ever Monster Hunter World Weapon Guide. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Longsword. And keep in mind that for Longswords, whatever combo that you do with Triangle or Circle, um, you will build your little Spirit Gauge right here. So just keep that in mind. So let's go over the combos we can do here. So this is going to be the basic Triangle attack. So this is just pure Triangle. Um, with you uh, spam it four times and it does this four hit combo. You can keep going and it will just shorten to this version. Uh, it'll be a slash and then thrust and then um, rising slash. Um, you can also do this with triangle, circle, and triangle. So just keep combo shorts. Um, here's another combo you can do if you want just to get some damage in. It's just circle and triangle attack. All right, next up we got the fade slash which can be performed by hitting the triangle and circle button together. And this is just kind of like a little getaway move. And you can also move, you can face slash to a different direction. So if you want to move to the right, uh, aim your directional stick to the left and then you can move to the right and vice versa. If you want to move to the left, you aim your directional stick to the right and you can face slash to the left. Um, you can also chain this in with combos, so the triangle circle combos, we can chain it in. So in case you need to do a quick getaway from a monster, you can just fade slash. Alright, next up we got our main attack with longsword, which is the spirit slash. And you can just hit R2 four times for this entire combo. But note that the third hit, you cannot dodge out of, and it contains three hits in the third hit. Okay, And the fourth hit is just a slash, which will also build up your meter, um, well, it will level up your meter, I should say. And before I show you guys that, let me just show you guys some combos you can do. So you can initiate the, um, the spirit the spirit slash in the middle of the combo. Okay, so we're just doing triangle, circle, triangle, fate slash, and R2. So that's one way to get some damage in and also level up your um, meter and here is uh, another way to go into spirit slash right away without having to press triangle as you're moving forward just tap r2 and you can go straight into spirit slash i want to note that spirit slash can cut through any surface of the monster even at parts where you usually bounce with triangle or circle combos And if you land the final hit of your Spirit Slash combo, you can level up your meter like this. And it goes from white, yellow to red. And note that the meter will start to deplete slowly, but as it levels up, you will gain more attack. But this is not the only way to level up your meter, and I'll show you guys another way to level it up in a bit. Next up, we got the Helm Split, which is the Longsword's strongest move, I believe. And you can perform this uh, by holding R2 and Triangle. And you can direct your attack any direction, just hold your direction, your movement direction towards that direction and you can slash down to that direction. So I want to slash down to the right, hold your direction to the right and you can do that. Um, I want to tell you guys that whenever your character comes down, whether the attack connects or not, uh, you will lose a meter. So if it's red, it'll go to yellow and if it's yellow, it'll go to white and if it's white, it'll go to nothing. Um, yeah, if, it, if your attack hits, misses, as long as you're coming down and you do that attack, you will lose a bar. Um, but if you're on your way up and it gets interrupted like this, then you will keep your meter. But if you're on your way down and you get hit or the monster screams and you get knocked off the air, um, you will still lose a meter. Okay, Only on the way up, you will keep your meter if it gets interrupted. And if your attack does connect, uh, something cool happens. The red meter in the middle will start to build by itself and you can just worry about holding doing the R2 attacks okay and this is pretty much what happens if you have no spirit gauge or if you miss the monster so if you have no spirit gauge you just poke them that's it and if you miss you just poke the air and that's it all right next up we got the counter move right here which you can only perform after you do one normal attack so with a triangle attack or with a circle attack whatever after you do that you can press R2 and circle together to initiate the counter, okay? And you can also do this mid combo. So if you're doing a combo and monster decide to attack you, you can just tap R2 and circle together to initiate the counter. 
and you can also counter in any direction and it's kind of like the fade slash so if you counter if you move your directional stick to the left you'll counter attack left side or you'll step back to the right and move to the left and vice versa i don't know if i'm making it complicated but you can counter it in any direction uh, except backwards you can't counter backwards so there's that and here is what happens if you miss with a counter okay and you do a counter and you actually miss you you'll lose your bar of meter you won't lose your spirit gauge but you'll lose a bar but if you do manage to land your counter so counter and then press R2 and then press R2 again. So if your counter lands and then your, your R2 lands, you'll get your whole meter back. And then your second R2 lands, um, you will actually level up your gauge. So this is pretty cool. And as the, the spirit gauge levels up, um, you'll get a little attack boost. And if your teammate decides to fling you up in the air with great swords, if you drop off a cliff or something you can also perform r2 attack instead of your triangle attack and you can also mount monsters with attack as well and if you do just land you can also just finish up your combo by spamming r2 when you hit the ground and you can also perform the r2 move the spirit slash move um during a slide so as you're sliding down you can also uh, press r2 and you do this cool spin attack um it's an aerial spirit gauge i believe it's called um also you can just do a normal a normal triangle attack so whatever you know you can do this triangle attack while dropping off a cliff or sliding down but if you want to do this sweet spin spirit aerial attack you have to it only works if you're sliding down so there you go all right and that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for my long sword tutorial guide weapon thing and yeah, um, just a quick summary. If you guys like, if you guys are okay with moderate speed weapons, this may be for you. Okay, um, this is not as fast as um, dual blades, not as slow as great swords. Um, it's medium speed. The damage is between as well. It doesn't have low damage like dual blades, but they can they have speed to make up for that low damage. Um, not as slow as great swords but they also got damage to make up for their lack of speed um so for long swords we got moderate speed and moderate damage so nah. um another thing about long swords is they can't block so you got to have to be good at either countering or dodging so there's no shields so this is not like a charge play or lines or great sword which you can block so it depends on you know your evasive ability and also, if you want to keep your damage good, I would say you want to keep your meter at red or yellow. Try to keep it at red if it's possible, but sometimes, you know, the monster will keep running or whatever, and you might not land your last hit of your R2 or your spirit, uh, spirit slash spirit gauge combo. So, you know, try to keep it at red or yellow if you can. And then that's when I'll do Helm Split. Okay, when I get the opportunity, I'll do it once I, well, I... If only I have red gauge. That's the only time I do it. Um, otherwise, I won't do it. Because if you miss, you'll drop... If, you, you, if you're doing it on yellow and you miss, you'll drop the white, which is even worse. In my opinion. This is just my personal opinion here. Everything here is just my personal opinion. Okay, so I don't want anyone getting mad at me if I said something to piss them off. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for staying too, and hopefully this will clear up some questions about how to use the long swords. Because I got some, I actually got a, quite a bit of uh, questions on how to use the long sword. That's why I, that's why I made this video, <laughs> just so for those of you guys who have questions about how long sword works. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up now. So thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you guys in some more monster or whatever I post in the future. But yeah, until then, I'll catch you guys later. Holmes.